press B to shoot ballistic balls. I thought it was X. Or is it? Uh, it says B, but it's X. Yeah, it's assuming you're oh using. Oh my God! Fuck you, Game Grumps. <laughs> God, you suck. Ha Aaron Hansen specifically, how dare you create this I problem? I hate you, Susie. God, <laughs> you suck. This is your fault. Before recording, we were talking about how absolutely horrendously awful the Game Grimm's com online community is. Oh, yeah. If hey, we're going to get fucking white knighted if we say that. Bring yeah, it. Well, fuck them. Bring it. They got <laughs> nothing. It's They're going to be like, it's sad they that, got like, nothing. They used to have such a cool fan base. But these days, if you are a fan of Game Grumps, statistically speaking, you're probably you're an incel. a toxic <laughs> piece of shit. Yeah, it's it's really bad, and it's always been like this since day one. And like, I was there when Game Grumps was founded. I remember seeing Man, Game I Grumps sat hipster. Next to John yeah, right on the, the couch. I remember seeing like the intro video on JonTron's channel. And I was like, whoa, that's super cool. And I remember watching like Pokey Awesome back in the day and showing everybody, you know, like all that kind of stuff. So it was such a cool moment. And then immediately the community was like, fucking, fucking John coughing all the time. It's like, so what? <laughs> just fucking <laughs> enjoy the content. It's every community, but though. It's like every fandom. It is. It's it really awful. is. Yeah. People, people get so attached to their fan bases that they, you can't understand. It's like, you gotta relax. You know, everyone's gonna enjoy things differently. What is that? What do the coins do? Um, I think it just helps us rank up faster. Oh, okay. I think it just contributes to Rank score. up! Yeah. And that's why I collect them when I see them, because you gotta get those vouchers, dog. You gotta get those unlocks, you know? I could just pay for that. Let um, I have my mom's credit card let me on my Steam <laughs> Fortnite profile. dab on you really quick. Okay, so, uh... It's a big problem with, like, artistic integrity in the internet. I thought for a second I thought you said autistic integrity. <laughs> autistic. Well, depending on what fan base it depends. No, it's like like the fan base Don't changes. Don't get that one. Oh shit! That's poison potato. Oh. If you press the back button, it drops your your power up. Also, don't eat green potatoes in real life. They're actually poisonous. Yeah, that's no bueno. <laughs> America, this is what we are. Like when your fan base ex expands to a certain level. You're, you you have to cater to more well, you don't have to and you shouldn't but it's expected to have to cater to more people because more people are going to be loud it's as simple as that like with more eyes there's also more voices yeah like there's like the vocal minority like yeah. people like the people who are shit are probably a very small portion of it but they are the loudest and yeah, but that's the problem is I think and I guess Aaron addressed on the video regarding this game <clears throat> It's like people like the the vocal or the majority now the the non-vocal majority needs to start speaking up because then it, it it really ruins the reputations of so many fan bases when the only people talking and having conversations is all the shit lords well like, the also problem is when you're catered to mainly children like when your true. channel is to that you like, want to go right eric um oh. unfortunately children are inflammatory as fuck yeah it's true and they just want to, they just want to ha have a laugh at at anyone's expense. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, God, yeah, it's true. The bill, spiky ball. And then there's people who have been stuck on those communities for so long that they've gone from child to adult and are still children. Yeah, it's very true. Man, baby. And yeah. like I, I've, <clears throat> especially on the internet. Like I, and I've only officially fallen off of the grumps like in the last like year or so. But it was, it's, it has been a gradual decline, and I can say that, like, objectively, as both a lover and a hater of them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've experienced the best and the worst, so I can reasonably say, like, yeah, their, their shit changes, but, like... They just came in from behind. Musical artists' tastes change over time, and oh. their, their styles change. Like, one of my favorite bands is Incubus, and every album is different. None of their albums sound the same. They always change from year to year. Oh, baseball man. Oh, you got this. Nice. Nice. You got this. No! Oh, good try, good try, good try. That was really Suck good. My Dude, you went from dying like eight times randomly to second place. I mean, Just I don't like really that. mind when like... You hear me, YouTube? <laughs> I'm the video game boy now. Nah, I'm slapping my little and, e dick. And a lot of people criticize the Grumps for not being funny anymore, but they, they had to change for their vocal minority. But also, if you're making, like, 10,000 videos, like, mm -hmm. there's only awesome. so much content you can do, 
Like, you're gonna run out of shit. Yeah, oh, totally. Because um, they're doing the same kind of thing. You know, I mean, I'm not a... I, I've really never watched Game Bros. Yeah. Only a handful of things. I was more like Achievement Hunter and Rooster Teeth stuff. Sure. But... It's the same thing for them. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same premise, definitely. What, what I think are uh, like achievement it's hunter you has. You and is one they, other dude. Yeah. Wait, it, really? Is this? Yeah. Go back to the main menu. Let's select a region. I feel like when you have all the same members, there's only so much you and them oh, could I talk about. It. Like what I'm trying to say is like if we did this for like five years uh, or ten years. Options. Like Never. we're gonna run out of things to talk about. Yeah, yeah. no, that's and then true. It but it becomes less funny, and it's about trying to just make bits Whoa. and trying to force funniness. Um, yeah, I know exactly central what you US. mean, but uh, uh, well, are we like west? No, wait. no, central. We're definitely west coast. <laughs> that's right. I'm I'm so used to BattleNet. Uh, yeah, just being on US. Yeah, west hold on. Yeah. I gotta pee. Whatever. Also, like, I feel like most people will still watch, even if you're making content that they don't necessarily aren't asking for like there are some channels that thrive in just doing that just like not listening at all oh just yeah. doing what they want more people should listen to their view count i think a little bit if you want to grow and not so much the comments yeah because there's going to be people who watch your videos but don't comment oh yeah that's just like uh with our viewers i mean we have like we average like 20 to 30 viewers per video and then we get like one or two comments mm-hmm I think I read somewhere it's like 2% of viewers comment. Oh, yeah. The the, the interaction is, is hard to get. It's, not, it's annoying, too, because there's been times when I've, like, when we, like, ask people, like, comment and, like, tell us what you think about blah, 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 and, like, just no, no one, one says anything. Also, I don't know how to get out of this. Um, oh, hit, uh, X. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. All right. I've returned. So to kind of continue it a little bit, why not? We were on a roll with our conversation. Yeah. Um, like companies, like, you can look at the same <laughs> thing on another big channel like Rooster Teeth, who is massive, probably yeah. the biggest YouTuber thing that's ever existed. Uh, yeah, I think so. Because they have a multi-million dollar production company that's made movies, like three feature films, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's true. Longest running web series of all time. Yeah. And their company, it fucking sucks. Everything now sucks. Really? It's awful. And like, that's not even just like the people. It's just gotten stale over time. Right. The only people who've been able to keep it fresh is Funhouse and Achievement Hunter. Everyone else, I feel feel like it's been lacking. And people have been quitting left and right, and there's controversies left and right mm. with them now. Yeah, see, and that kind of stuff always happens, but I think I was having a conversation with Eric on Discord. It's like, how much of that is precipitated by the communities themselves? It's Probably. like the whole thing with like this game release is like, Aaron tried to do this kind of like fake documentary style thing to announce the game gradually. Mm -hmm. And it was like super interesting, and it was like the super low stakes. But everyone freaked out feeling misled. Everyone had this like nervous anxiety reaction of like, oh, he lied to us. Like, it's like, oh my God. relax. It's, yeah. it's marketing. It's, you know, whatever. It's, where's Ghoul do Grumps? Yeah, where's Ghoul Grumps? That's it's like, just really stupid. Oh, like, so, and, and like, Aaron has had bad reactions in the past. He's, he's said some dumb stuff. He's felt. He's a human being. So yeah, we'll but he's a human. Him. But uh, what I what I the question I brought up was how much of that is just him getting tired of dealing with the bull crap oh, and yeah, just lashing sure. out. Absolutely. Not being able to deal with that anymore. So I feel like a lot of people would have a lot of like online person or just personalities in general would have a way better time. Oh, that was so close. If they didn't get that oh, shit, that kind of pressure nonstop. Yeah. Yeah, I think you also got to be able to take it in stride. Yeah, oh, and just, for sure. I mean, after getting it over and over and over and over again, you're going to lose it. You're going to get pissed off. But it's just, you got to remember that those people now we're aren't. People. They also, also, it doesn't really matter. Like, if those people are bitching about a free fucking game. Well, see, that's the problem. That's is, good. Is it, they do matter now because they have a loud enough voice that they get heard. Yeah, well, you got to not give them the power, and that's yeah, what a lot of yeah, YouTubers yeah. have been doing. So, and that's and that's my whole point is the fact that they let those kind of people control the content and control the way they think and act and, and speak yeah. on camera is the main problem. And it's like, yeah, people are gonna say the same thing over and over again, and it's gonna get stale. But 
just stop watching the content. Like you just got to learn to disconnect from the content. Yeah, but then the the people get so emotionally reliant on on viewing the same content and getting into these same <laughs> these daily rituals of getting home and watching. And like that's fine. Don't get me wrong. People need to relax in their own way but you can't get upset at the content creators for not providing for you immediately though in in how you want it i mean also like it's it does put you in a rough position as a creator that if suddenly people aren't watching your stuff because it is stale you're mm -hmm. fucked because right. this is your livelihood and i don't i i don't mean to be a buzzkill but people who only job whose only job is youtube they don't have any life skills at all. Yeah, there are a lot of people where, like, they don't know how to do anything else. Yeah, it's over. Like, I couldn't imagine being, like, I mean, the only thing they got is editing, right? Oh, oh, they're and, not like, scaring me. if they edit. And it's not going to be to a professional quality that, like, a movie studio is looking for if you want to suddenly become an editor. They're not going to want to see your reel of YouTube videos. Well, see, that's why the, the Grumps became more of like a production studio and that's smart yeah and I, if people bitch about that i think that's stupid because mm -hmm. it allows them to make more content for you they're probably making the same old content that other people can like well that's the old people can like and then they're probably making new shit that some people don't that's, like but that's people seeing will. uh the trees for the forest you know they 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 see the tree that they want to look at but yeah. don't understand that the the rest of the forest needs to grow too you yeah. know what i mean like it's just it's not 2015 anymore people can't rely oh you're going towards the wall <laughs> you got this um people can't rely on just producing like let's play videos anymore it's not reasonable especially on youtube it's just not you, you can't make a complete living you got to have something else going on like you can look at it with like rooster teeth is those people are going to grow too much and then it's going to be unsustainable. Yeah. Because Rooster Teeth let it go with 200 employees mm -hmm. recently. And like a huge controversy. Big surprise. But it's a shame. The whole like getting too big for your own good thing happens like far too often. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, here's the thing is like a lot of the YouTubers create YouTube videos and then they create a big studio. But the only thing they know how to create are YouTube videos. They don't know how to make anything else. There's other content. I, I hate to sound like a fanboy, but PewDiePie, this is why I think that honestly, like he is the perfect candidate for being as big as he is because like he has never tried to make himself bigger than like someone could sustain. He yeah, has, he's, he's, yeah, he, pretty... has, he has one to two editors, him and his, him and Marzia do a merch line and that's it. That's literally like all he does. I mean, he, I'm sure he has like, his lawyer and like you know someone who oh, helps protect sure. him. It's the same as uh, it's the probably same as an agent uh, too, but Ethan and Hila. Yeah, it's like H three H three. Yeah, like PewDiePie is. It's funny because like I used to hate PewDiePie, like a lot of people did, because it was just oh loud guy screams and swears and nothing. There's like there's nothing else to him. But like just a couple of years ago or something, I started watching him and I was like, oh, he's actually like a pretty like humble. And like he's matured a lot. Like, yeah, his I'm content's saying. changed, but he, it's because he changed as yeah. like a person. He, I mean, he was. I mean, he's not like twenty years old See, anymore. And, and, saying and, super inflammatory shit. And I guess shit. That's, that's pretty important to say is like PewDiePie changed because he had to. He made very clear, definite mistakes. Whereas like the Grumps, it, it got so bad that the community was just nitpicking personality traits and saying, "Oh, I don't like when they say this over and over again." It's like humans do that. That's just the thing that humanity does. Yeah, they say the same phrases anymore. over and over again, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's like they try to neuter and, and force them to change what they say in, in order to not get annoyed by it or whatever. It's like they're trying to curate their own content like and then and then you have it's free content. You fans, watch ads. Fans like, complained uh, that calling a female a bitch is like uh, what, what's the term derogatory like that's an offensive thing to do. You can call a male a bitch, but I remember hearing oh. uh, Aaron and Danny say before, like, they've cut themselves off when they were like, you could tell they were gonna call a girl a bitch in the game or something. Yeah. And they stopped and they were just like, yeah, that fucking Yeah, I remember that. And and I'm just like, oh, come on. And, and I remember Danny was just like, 
Oh, I mean, you can't call a female that. I mean, you can call a guy that, but you can't call a female. Yeah, that. it's just wrong. It's and I'm just... like, and I'm like, you don't believe that. I know you don't. Yeah, it's just your fans, your toxic fucking. Oh. Yeah, and and that's the thing. It's important to understand the difference between like a person really believing that and a joke and a joke. Yeah. That's uh, that's something that's been like crazy oh, lately. Shit. And okay, so I know that obviously comedy is subjective, but I honestly cringe at the thought of like, because like all of their comedy is at this point is just because they're they've been forced to be so politically correct, and and they're also probably just burned out on a doing this same thing for so many years and yeah. b just putting up with their shitty fan base. I literally cringe at the thought of someone over the age of nine laughing when they do stuff like, oh, flippity flip, dude, 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 yeah, frick. Right. I just, uh, uh, frick, Dan, Dan, <laughs> what the flippity flu? I can't do it. I just, I, I do, mm. Yeah, and the whole not swearing for the yeah. first minute or so. And well, they totally yeah. went back on that too. They're well, like, we can't do that. That's oh, not yeah. us. Well, the problem is YouTube isn't helping it. Like, these platforms aren't helping creators create. Yeah. They're not making an environment that's conducive because, you know, at the end of the day, oh, it's not advisor, advertiser friendly. <laughs> Someone is getting paid for those ads still. The ads still run. Yeah. I still see the fucking ads. It's not that it's not advertiser friendly. They just don't want to pay you. Right. But they'll pay YouTube. Yeah. Um, but I think that's a, def uh, a pretty different because, like, if you... If you took away all that, the communities would still be pretty garbage. I think yeah, it's just yeah, some yeah. Uh, uh, the idea of like the media delivery, where it's like videos daily or whatever. Yeah, I mean just, that's a new reality win? though. Oh. oh yeah. Wow. Oh, did they just die? There was so much space left. Oh wow. Good job, Alex. I did it. Oh. And the thing with the kappa, and I know like every fucking that's YouTuber fucking has talked about this bad. so in depth. It's gonna fuck people bad. So like the kappa thing, it's like you can't make content for kids anymore. But you also can't make edgy content. You can't so swear. You have, you have to find this like super itty bitty little fine line to ride on it because like now you can't make family vlogs because you're risking. Oh, this content seems like it's too family friendly. friendly. It's too family friendly. It's made for kids. I'm wondering though how long that's actually going to be able to stand, because I yeah because I. I think that honestly, it will kill YouTube. It will. <laughs> I know. I know. For years, everyone has been talking about like, oh, we we have to find an alternative to YouTube, but it's hard because like, the server costs. It's just unreal. There's the startup cost alone. Hey guys, check out my Vimeo channel. Yeah, it's, right? <laughs> dude, Vimeo is big for filmmakers. It huge. is huge. Indie is. films. That's where you go. You don't go to YouTube, but I do like Vimeo. Although I don't like <gasps> how. I didn't know what Half that. the videos I try to load just don't load properly and like I think their web player kind of sucks and like You can just tell the websites not as like optimized and powerful as YouTube. No, it's not but they have a small They have far less. Oh, yeah, that's one of those things where it's like I hate I hate that we depend on YouTube. Someone's coming. I do I do think that we are like kind of on a verge like of like a like a, a revolution. I think that a revolution honestly has to happen at some point soon. Like sometime in the next couple years, something is gonna have to happen. Like either YouTube's gonna have to fix this stuff, or like there's gonna be like a radical oh no change. Okay. I think the big issue is YouTube is too big to change. So like they're getting held accountable by government with For these the things. Like Kappa thing. wasn't them. Yeah. They didn't want it. They actually actively went against it. But like once you get so big that the government has to regulate you, it's game over. Your your family your your fun platform's over. Yeah, sure. And there's nothing anyone can really do to prevent that from happening. It happens in video games, it happens in movies, it's happened in yeah. TV look and at, now it's Look at only, Dragon Age 2. And now it's internet. And now that there's no net neutrality, you're really fucked. And and one thing that I, I just don't like about the COPPA thing is, like, I understand YouTube can't do much about it, but at the same time, it's like, well, then how about you can still run ads, but just stop mining their the kids' privacy data? Because it's like, absolutely YouTube's fault that they're taking data from yeah, children. Yeah, like, they knew that they were, like, we are using children to, like, 
mine their interests, see what oh, they're cool. into, we can do that. and cool. and obtain <laughs> obtain personal information. Yeah, run away, little girl. For the sake of advertising. Okay, why don't you just run a generic ad? Why not? Why don't you just have it be like they're watching a video game, like a let's play? Run an ad for a game. What I don't understand is what is different. The, so it's Damn not it. so much that the ads are being run is the problem. The problem is is that data is being collected on children. Yeah, so, so it's like, why don't you just just don't do that? So really, what they're doing is just saying we won't take re responsibility, so we're just going to cut all revenue from this. Yeah, maybe it's just like a safety thing where they're just like, Certainly just, they're, you know, they're definitely covering. Well, their own it's asses. like when yeah. Tumblr got rid of uh, porn, and like Tumblr died. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> because there was child porn, like what else were they going to do? Yeah, but it, yeah. it did bank. It did fuck them. That company sold for like a hundred million dollars at first, and now it's sold for like one. Holy shit. Like, it lost all its value, and that's because the government went, yeah, you're gonna have to fix this, and they're like, I don't know how. Like, we literally can't. And they said, well, get rid of it then. Yeah, what do they do? Oh, you know what's crazy? I was watching a video just a few months ago, and uh, they were talking about, like, they did, like, an in-depth analysis on the whole, like, rise and fall of Tumblr. Oh, God. You know that Tumblr is still, as of a few months ago, on, like, the top ten list of most visited websites in the world i believe that it's that. It, and he was just like the thing i don't understand is i'm i'm i have the analytics right here you can see how many millions of people are visiting it per day he was like there's more people do on tumblr than there are on yahoo on this site this site this site but i can't find them i don't know where they are or what they're doing it's like they're all just lurking because there's like if you compare tumblr now to like tumblr a year ago it's like a wasteland <laughs> this guy's gonna kill himself it's it's almost like looking at MySpace where you're just like, wow, everything's just gone. Nothing's happening. What I think is interesting is that you're talking about like a revolution happening and something needing to change with YouTube. Yeah. Tumblr, when they banned porn, they just didn't give a f All of the users just kept doing it. No! Oh, you no. fucked yourself. <laughs> Did the recoil? Play? Yeah. Oh, damn. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It's an epic gamer moment. But yeah. what what what's gonna happen with Tumblr is oh they keep posting porn and guess what? There's still child porn, and they keep getting fined and yelled at by the government. Yes, I they're just gonna guy. get shut down. And all those people rioting, hey, bring porn back. You're ruining Tumblr because you know that's what made Tumblr good. Apparently, the company's gonna have to fold because they're not gonna be able to like that's what that kind of dissent. Is going to cause yeah right with right. YouTube is a last, little different last, last round Alex all right um, yeah that's and then and you know what's funny is when Tumblr was dying and sites like Newgrounds and Pornhub were like open arms they they literally said they were just like hey we'll Tumblr people you. come over to us we'll host your porn <laughs> and like Newgrounds did it and Newgrounds actually like found a resurgence of popularity because of that that's... I mean Pornhub's now the biggest one of the biggest websites ever. And it's huge. Pornhub People, is such a cool company. God damn. They donate to so many charities. There was a they, they, there was the one time when like for breast cancer awareness or whatever. That's hilarious. I need to be guile. I need to be guile. And they said that like, they were like we're gonna donate like this <laughs> this percentage of revenue like to uh, man. to breast cancer aware like you know breast cancer foundations and charities right and this one charity was like we will not accept donate like cha like charity money from you and Pornhub was like uh, okay so then they just found a different charity yeah Pornhub I think they even said like sometime in the last year or so I don't know how tr it's probably not gonna happen but they did I think they tweeted or something that they were considering making just like a general video streaming platform as an alternative to YouTube. And there were there were actually a lot of people behind it that were like, we would actually, we would join you. If like, it can be integrated easily. Well, they have the server space to do it, is the thing. And it's not like because they're a porn site, they have a bunch of viruses. It's like one of the few that you're not going to catch anything from. Just make it ornhub.com, O-R-N, hub.com. <laughs> So that way, it's just like you're one letter away from just entering adult territory. Yeah, it's funny they'll <laughs> they'll uh, they'll do all that, but then still allow you to log into your account 
via Gmail. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. <laughs> Gmail's like, no, we don't want to do this. But then Pornhub's like, hey, log in with your Facebook account or Gmail or, you know, whatever. <laughs> And you're like recently watched videos or your saved videos list or something. It'll be like uh, PewDiePie, you laugh, you lose. Number 11. Second video. You uh, boy plays Soviet jumping game. Third video. Stepsister sucks three big black cocks for cell phone. <laughs> oh, my Suspiciously God. specific. <laughs> God, you're going to have to cut all of that just to get to this joke. It's the only joke in the last half hour. <laughs> Yeah, we had some, we had some, uh, we had a little bit of little we funnies. Some, and we had some good conversation going. Chasing him, huh? High octane game. Let's do it. Violence, speed, aggression, juice. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say pretension. <laughs>